Hello! Welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. This is our usual day where we do our time capsule questions, and I think this is now the fifth year in a row that we will be answering the same list of questions. I, uh, I had an incident with the tripod, so my eye is a little wonky, but it's okay. It's fine. First question. Where are you now? Kirkland, Washington, United States, on the planet Earth. Milky Way Galaxy. Two, what is the date? It is December 16th, 2022. You got an easy question. I know. Question three, what is the weather like? It's cold, but it's not raining. It's been pretty sunny for the past few days. However, it did start snowing at the end of November, which was really weird. And so our whole like first week of December was snowy. But it's like been under 40 for like mm -hmm. a few weeks. Very cold. How oh, cold. Four. What is the last movie you saw? We just watched <laughs> the <laughs> that was the the Noel Diary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we watched that last week for movie night. It wasn't awful, but eh. I'm not going to watch it again. It was a Christmas movie, mm -hmm. in the Christmas spirit. What's the last movie you loved? Well, you got your, Katie kept track of all the movies we've have, seen this have, year. Yeah, I have so a list. That, so that makes it easier. Mm-hmm. Well, I have a list of all the movies I've seen this year. Loved in a movie? That's really hard for me. I don't usually like love movies. I would say the last movie I really enjoyed watching was Clue. We watched Clue in Halloween time. Mm -hmm. I had been asking Chase if we could please watch it for ages and ages and ages. Finally, he just said, nope, this movie night we're watching Clue. We watched it, and I really liked it. Mm -hmm. It has very good dialogue, great writing. It's really, like, fast and witty and a mystery. What about you? I, think I, you to... I really liked Nope. We finally saw that. New Jordan Peele movie. It was it was a little too horror for me. Mm -hmm. I really like Spiderhead on Netflix. Spiderhead. Mm -hmm. When did you watch that? Uh, June seventeenth. You have a list too. <laughs> I, yeah, no, just oh, Netflix. he's looking at his Netflix <laughs> history. And The Gift. I also watched in uh, May. That was creepy, but I like creepy so. Um, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> Mostly I've really just liked watching Formula One this year. And I did watch the Netflix series Drive to Survive this year. So that was, that was by far and away my favorite. Six. What music are you enjoying right now? Uh, like I say every year, I mostly listen to the radios, but lately I've been just listening to the songs that I have downloaded on my phone because I don't like using data to just use my to listen to music, 21 Pilots, and this year we both got a little bit into Giant Rooks because of Tom's Diner. Yeah, I only really liked their one song, so that was, that was you. <laughs> I like, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. And also AJR, but this December we've been listening to a lot of Christmas music. Yeah, for me it's been uh, just my Christmas music playlist this Christmas season, which I think I even made like at least two years ago, or I've kind of been building up over the past like six or seven years, which is mostly just a collection of Pentatonix and Straight No Chaser, which are both a cappella groups singing Christmas songs, and then some like random songs thrown in there like Jingle Bell Rock and Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree and Melikaliki Maka, like the, the Hawaiian Christmas song. Before I listened to the Christmas music, I was really enjoying the new Taylor Swift album, Midnights. I really liked that. You were listening to that a lot. Mm -hmm. This is true. Number seven, who are you in love with? Chase Man! What? Yeah, you. Mm -hmm. Who are you in love with? You, oh, Katie you. girl. <laughs> Eight, what do you wish you could own right now? Can I get a hot tub? No, well, I actually want, I think I want a new car first. 
Mm, that's a good one. We've been surviving on one car, and I know last year we said we were going to buy a car this year. But then the car market right now is just not good. It's really hard to decide on electric versus hybrid versus break, what is it, Com combustion, whatever. There's just too many options. What about y'all? What would you like to own right now? I want a new fridge. Hmm. I hate our fridge. The water dispenser ice maker part doesn't work. The freezer part doesn't seal sometimes and everything melts in that entire half of that fridge. Uh, and the other side, which is the fridge part, is too small. And everything in there is always gross. And I kind of get icked out looking at the food in there. And then I don't want to eat. What do you want your next vacation to be? Do I want to go on vacation? <laughs> um, What's a vacation? Does it include Carter? Mm -hmm. I guess that's kind of part of the question. Yeah, he can't watch himself at home yet. <laughs> I guess I would want to fly somewhere warm with a nice, like, pool or maybe a beach that's like right outside your door or really close by that you don't have to like travel to and maybe it's a really fancy hotel that has like a spa where you can get massages and things things I don't know if it would be Hawaii specifically because I feel like the flight to Hawaii is kind of long and um I feel really like isolated when I'm on the island and I don't like feeling that separated from my family but it, it, it would be a vacation without Carter if we're talking about like a vacation with Carter I mean I actually kind of liked going to Disneyland mm -hmm. that was kind of that was that was fun so like I would probably do like another kind of Disneyland or Disney World, something that's like really exciting for Carter, so it's less work to get him excited about it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think I'm really in a vacation mood at the moment. Hmm. It just, it sounds like a lot of work to me, let's put it that way. <laughs> Life is work. Adulting is work. Hmm. I, I would go to Hawaii. I would do it. I'd also take i would rather go see my mom in San Diego. That'd be cool. I want to go but, to Hawaii. Or we could also like, I, go with people. Yeah, I, I would even want to do like a family vacation to Hawaii. But or it also friends. sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> so... You just don't want to organize it. I don't know if it would be like my ideal vacation, if that makes <clears throat> sense. It just says next vacation. Then, what are you most worried about? Uh, I don't worry, come on. Yes, you do. I hope tomorrow goes okay. What's happening tomorrow? It's your birthday. Don't you remember? I do remember. I don't know what's happening tomorrow, though. Yeah. I mostly worry about Carter, that he's going to get hurt or get sick, something like that. Sometimes I worry about my job, but right now it's... Mostly stable. Who knows? Number 11. What is one amazing thing you expect to do in the coming year? Well, I mean, I think we said the same thing last year, but it would be nice to buy another car. <laughs> and we ha have two family weddings I'm going to this next year. More of my generation in the family is getting married. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to watch the next season of Formula One. Mm. <laughs> Starts in March. I would still like to do more stuff with the house. I want to do more with my 3D printer. I'm having troubles learning modeling to like make my own things. So that's been tough. So maybe that's my big goal. Make something to 3D print. That'd be cool. What is your favorite recent memory? It was my favorite thing to go to Redland and Lights and the blistering cold. Maybe not. That was pretty bad. I like going to the mall today. <laughs> you did? Yeah. You liked shopping with me? 
Yeah, without, well, I wasn't with you the whole time. Yeah. Because, like, Carter wasn't there, and, like, I could actually walk around in peace and go to any store I want to do and stuff. Instead of spending all your time at the uh -huh. playground? Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the first time it's ever happened. Mm. I liked decorating cookies with Carter. I thought that was super cute. Mm. And I liked you guys surprising me yesterday mm. with my dad and Jeff coming. Duh. Mm. I like most of like the Christmassy things that we've done kind of specifically because we have Vlogmas to film. No, that's that's our everyday life. No, uh, I, like, I mean I like Vlogmas because it really pushes us to do more of the kind of like events, Christmassy things, Christmassy traditions, and that makes good memories mm. that I really like, mm. so. We should just document everything. Vlogmas, all year. I need sleep. <laughs> Please. <laughs> we can just film, we don't have to edit. Mm-mm. I have to edit it at some point, don't nah. I? I don't feel motivated unless I post it, I don't think. <laughs> what were the top three Accomplishments from the last year. Number 13. Accomplishments? <gasps> hmm. 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 We potty trained Carter. That's true. That was an accomplishment. I mean, I finally accomplished, like, clearing a bunch of the boxes and things out of our bedroom, finally, from when we moved in. <laughs> and I finally cleaned up my office. Mm -hmm. That felt good. Mm -hmm. Does that count as one? Or I guess potty training counts as one. And then two I would say is getting our house a little bit more like organized and put together. What happened this year? Mm -hmm. What year is it? Oh! <laughs> Three is um, we went back into the office this year. So we've transitioned to like the hybrid workspace and away from working from home and going through all of that change again and like relearning a whole new routine. That happened this year. Mm -hmm. I was going to office a little bit last year. But... Yeah, it wasn't as much of a change for you, but for me it was a pretty big change. So I would say like mm -hmm. getting used to the going into the office again and the post-pandemic life. That would be like accomplishment number three. What about you? What are your three accomplishments for the year? Potty training, Carter. Oh. <laughs> House stuff, um, just random things here and there, trying to get the house more together. And then at work, I'm I have I've built a lot of UI to do stuff, and it's helping like the company, like other people can make changes to stuff and takes off more white plate and that's a huge accomplishment because like a year ago we had none of that and two months ago we had none of that mm -hmm. so that's been a big deal and I actually like working on it and so that's been I'm enjoying work right now <laughs> yay what made you laugh the hardest most recently oh oh I know this one chat GPT mm. Mmm, we've been playing yeah. around with the new chat GPT and having it just like write random stuff for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we've had it, uh, had it write a sea shanty about Chase picking me up from work. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I had it write um, a romantic story about a couple that breaks up because he doesn't like potatoes. <laughs> that was great. Uh, we, we had it write a few sermons for my dad, and uh, we had it write a business plan for my mom, <laughs> and, uh, and it's just been really entertaining, but it's also an amazing tool, uh, like, for our work, because it'll help you with writing code as well, and it'll, and it'll give examples, uh, like, how to write testing code and how to use certain frameworks and things that would be a lot harder to find uh, like with Google or Bing or like in the web search world uh, but ChatGPT will just give it to you right there with an example that's good to go. Yeah, 
I agree. That's made me laugh pretty hard. Yeah, it's like, so good. <laughs> and, like, it's, it's not very good at making jokes. Like, actual jokes with punchlines. Um, but just the stuff it comes up with is pretty good mm -hmm. and funny. Uh, number 15, what are your life goals at the moment? Did you make any progress on them? I would like to become an author someday, write, write and publish some kind of book someday. Uh, but no, I have not made any progress on that this year. Every time I'm like, oh, I should do some writing, I'll like write a page and then forget about it for like four months and then I'm like oh I should do some writing and I write a page of some totally different story and yeah we just keep going through that cycle so I have not made any progress on that life goal that's okay thank you um I don't know I had I remember having goals about like being respected at work I think it's better right now except People are leaving and the company is getting smaller and smaller because of layoffs and people quitting. Who knows? What are your wishes for the upcoming year? I feel like a lot of these questions are very similar. I wish I had a million dollars. Hot Boom. dog! Still, I hope COVID still dies down more. Hopefully it becomes like less of a deal. It's like, oh, you got COVID. Oh, well. That's fine. I wish I could get a handle on my anxiety and depression and general mental health because I have been struggling with that for a while now. And I have been working with a therapist on it, but I do wish it were better. 17. What do you think you will be doing this time next year? We will be sitting right here doing these questions in front of the tree on this couch. Vlogmas 2023. Which funny story, when I started Vlogmas this year, 2022, I kept labeling it as Vlogmas 2023. <laughs> so apparently I already thought it was next year. Jeez. Oh, where do you think you will be in five and ten years from now? Now we can actually look back at the first year of Vlogmas and say this is where we are five years mm -hmm. after that. I probably or, or is it technically four years after that? Because mm. that was 2018. So mm. this is the fifth time we've done Vlogmas, but that was four years ago? <sighs> Don't make me do math right now. Eh, oh well. Anyway, um, five years. There's no way I'm going to be at this company still. So maybe I'll be at Microsoft. Woo! I would like that. Hopefully, well, we're going to be in the same house in five years and ten years. Yeah, I want this to be like our forever house. So, I don't think we're going to move. I think we'll probably be still be here. I like my job, so I will probably still be at Microsoft. I think we'll pretty much be in the same place in five years and in ten years. Carter will be older. Mm-hmm. This is true. So will we. <gasps> oh my god, I'll be turning 40! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to say something to your 40-year-old self? No. <laughs> 19. What do you think will change about you over the next year? How do you want to grow? I want to focus more on myself and figuring out like what I want and how I want things to be and how to worry less about what other people want and what other people are thinking about me and how they're feeling and all of that. So I would like to grow and figure out what I want and how to manifest that in my life mm. without it all imploding on mm. me. What about you? <laughs> how do you want to grow? I don't want to grow. I want to shrink. I say that every year. 
Me, 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 me. Yeah, next year I'll shrink for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we did get a rowing machine this year, finally. Um, I haven't been consistent about it though. Yeah, it's hard with a three year old. Yeah. Yeah, I want to be physically healthier. I've been <laughs> trying new foods. I've been, it's been like the, a good thing this year. I've yes. Been more That's been great. <laughs> adventurous. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like eating Hello Freshes. Fr Hello Freshes, yeah. Like Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. I want more muscles in my arms. Muscles! I do want to get better at hockey, but it's a whole, whole thing. Then you have to go to the ice rink and get everything set up and have like ice time booked and it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Where will you be living next year? Here. In five and ten years from now. Here. 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 If we somehow come into like a five hundred million dollar fortune. Five hundred? It would take five hundred million dollars. <laughs> then I would consider like building our own house or buying one of the big mansions or whatever somewhere. But I don't see that happening, so I think that it will be here for the foreseeable future. For t I would move for two million dollars. Mm, no. Why not? Mm, nope. In the, not same, not. in the same neighborhood. Nope. Come on. That's not enough. Three million. Nope, not enough. Four million. Nope. Okay. Nope. Twenty-one. What is one piece of advice that you would give to your future self? I don't like this question. Mm, all right, let's delete it. Because, like, there's a lot of advice I would give my past self, but, like, I that don't know help. where my future <laughs> self is or how she's doing or... I think my future self is probably wiser than I am right now. I, I would hope that they are. So, like, what is my younger self doing yeah. giving my future I self advice? I wouldn't advice? listen to my past self. That's mm. dumb. Mm. He doesn't know anything. Glad we cleared that up. Mm -hmm. Past chase. I guess I would say from my current fount of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Current what of wisdom? Fount? Fount? Fount of um, wisdom. Don't make up words. Maybe fountain? Is that the word you're looking for? No. From my current fount of wisdom, <laughs> I say sarcastically. Uh, now I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> was oh, no. it don't forget what you're going to say? Oh, it was just, um, you can do what you want. There you go. That's my one piece of advice. You can do what you want. Can you though? <sighs> <laughs> Alright, now you gotta come up with one. No, I don't. What's your advice for your future self? I don't know. Eat more vegetables. That's not bad. I like that. Alright. did it. That's it for today, folks. All right, that's the end of our time capsule questions for 2022. The end of our fifth time answering these questions. I'm sure we will be back to answer the same questions again next year. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.